Hi, it's Susie from Nail Career Education, and I've had a lot of requests on my YouTube channel to do an ombre design. So I've selected my colors, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you do is get your base coat color. And I always shake them. They tell you not to shake them, and they say roll, but I, I have no patience for that. So I do shake them. And it never really causes any problems. So you want to put your base coat on first. You can check my video for how to polish professional and give you some tips on how to do that. And you know what, I think I'm going to do a second coat on this. Because if you look, you can see the cuticles are just a little bit thin and see-through. And the cuticles is the concentrated part that you want this color to be quite solid. Because these will be the ombres that we'll put from the end up. So it doesn't really matter about the end so much if it's not so solid, but that cuticle area we want quite solid. So I'm just going to put a second coat on. This stuff dries really fast. This is a new line by OPI, and it dries really fast. It's not a gel either, it's polish. And some I notice in the ombre design, they'll put Vaseline or tape around the cuticle. I don't really do that. Um, I'll show you why in the end, if I get any, which I will, on the cuticles. It really is an easy cleanup with your remover and a cotton pad. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna wait for these to dry just a little bit. It does dry fast, but I am gonna wait a little bit. So these are my three colors that I'm going to blend. And again, give them a good shake. This one is close to this one you can see, but it will blend quite nicely. So undo them all and have them sit there waiting and ready. And you can see I've got three OPI here colors that I've used and one INM. Reason being, uh, it just happened to go together. Those are the blending colors that I want. This is Partido by INM. Guess I should have looked at them before I <laughs> undid them. And this is Susie Says Feng Shui. Hmm, they know me. <laughs> and this one is I Saw, You Saw, We Saw, Warsaw. Okay, <laughs> undo that guy. So have these already undone, ready to go. And here's a tip too. If your bottle is kind of gunky, don't hesitate to get some cotton remover, get some remover on it, and just clean that edge all nice and clean. Because one day, if you don't clean it, you're not going to be able to open it. It is actually going to nail polish shut. That's happened. It's annoying. Okay. This one's not very full, so I'm going to give it a really good shake. Okay, this is the fun part. So I have the little sponge and I'm, for me, I find the shape works really well because I can pull my finger, cut it in this little triangle shape, just a little sponge from the, from the beauty store. And you can pull this back like this and if you put the triangle, if you cut it in a triangle, each one of your fingers can go like thumb and your middle finger on here and you can pull back to get the real shape of it. you want to hit certain spots. So I find the shape works really well, not just such a square, but the triangle. It's really quite advantageous, fits right in the hand. So here we go. We're going to put the lighter color on first, up here. And you can put the darker color and work up. And then we're going to put this color. Then we're going to put the dark color at the base. And then we're going to get it in that shape that I was talking about and sort of blending. And you can like roll it on like a stamp, which we'll try. Let's do that. And roll it on like that and then soften it. I'm going to use a little bit more dark at the base here. More of this color. You probably have to freshen it up every now and then. I don't know for every nail, but we probably will. And then roll it on. Just kind of 
pull it back like I was saying and sort of just get the tip part in there. So I'm going to bend it back and I'll show you to get the darker color near the end. Then you can sort of bend it to get the middle color. This is a very messy proposition. <laughs> get the middle color and then the tip color. You can really manipulate your sponge a little bit. We get a little more dark color in at the end of this one. And put a little dark in the end. I'm gonna add a little bit more. As time goes on, it gets a little drier. It is polished, it's drying as it goes, right? So I'll just put a little bit more color on there. Okay, so I'm just darkening up the cuticle area. Then I'm trying to bend this thing so the middle is hitting the middle zone. And then the mauve is sort of hitting that zone there. See what I mean, messy? It's messy. Just sort of different varying gradients here. You don't want to play with it too much either because you could pull some of the paint underneath up. Especially if it's not dry good enough. Get a little bit of dark in there. Of course, the more dark at this end, contrasting to the cuticle area, will give it a very ombre look. Okay, then when you're finished, you just top coat it. I'm gonna use this out the door, Northern Lights Glitter, and we're just gonna top coat it. Then you can clean up your cuticle. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. top coat on before I clean up the edge just so I don't wipe off any of the color if I do I'll just wipe off clear I don't actually wipe off my color then I'm gonna clean up the edge and then we'll look at the reveal shots cleaning up the edge cleans up really beautifully really easy Fold your little cotton in half, and just press into it, and then slowly remove. I hope you like the reveal pictures. colors that I chose and you can see you can use two colors three four whatever you like I just chose from the dark to the light and a couple in between you can use this in a pink sequence orange sequence red whatever you want just let your imagination run wild don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon